Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial. In this one we'll be looking back at an updated tutorial on interactions and animation sheets. Uh, main reason is the way that this is this is done has changed since the original video I posted quite a few months ago now. So I'm just going to open up uh, Spark AR Studio. I'm using version 69.0.0.9.189 which is the latest version that I can download today. Uh, I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to maximize this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to import my textures. So what I've done is in a photo editing studio, so I've used Photoshop, I have just created 15 frames, just this yellow and orange bar going up uh, slowly. Uh, with this sort of gradient tint, roughly to the dimensions of what will be applied to my face mesh. So I'm just going to quickly go to my Add tab at the top of my window and I'm just going to add a 3D object and I'm going to add a face mesh. And I'm going to be using this just as a visualization of how we can add interactions and multiple sprites now in this version. If you haven't seen my previous video on Spark AR interactions, the link will be in the description below. And that may cover some areas that I may forget in this video, but the process of how to add in the multiple frames will be covered in this, which has since changed from that video. So down here in our assets panel, you'll notice I currently have no assets in my project. So I'm just gonna simply add asset, gonna import from my computer, I'm just going to select one of my frames. Now, originally you used to have the option down here where you'd be able to import a multiple uh, or create a sequence that has now been removed. So I just simply need to click on one of my frames and click open. This will now add in my texture and this frame one. And if I go over to my properties panel, you'll notice it brings it in as a single texture. Now, what I've done here is I've actually created a series of frames. So actually I want to bring it in as a texture sequence. So under type, I'm going to change it from single texture to texture sequence. I'm now going to be able to select all of my frames in my sequence and press open. Oh, uh, and it will say oh, it's failed to import frame one. That's because I've already imported frame one already. So in fact, what I should have done is just selected frame two up to 15. But anyway, it doesn't matter because all that will do is it's still imported by 15 frames, my frame 1 to 15. And this is now a sequence. So you'll notice down here in my textures, I now have this frame 1 to 15. I can adjust its compressions, etc. It's currently doing that for me. So now if I go to assets, add asset and create a material, which will be a material we apply to our face mesh or any other 3D object or particle that we want in our scene. I simply go over here, select my texture and choose my choose a, a new animation sequence. This will now create a new animation sequence which currently has no texture file assigned to it. But because we've now imported our texture as a series of frames, we can go over to our animation sequence properties to the texture option up here, click on the drop down and we can choose our frame 1 to 15 that I have created. I can now adjust its frame rate, its loop, its whether it starts a current frame, etc, etc. And even rename the sequence and the material if I so wish. Now I can go back to my material, click on my texture and you'll notice my texture should be my animation sequence. And at the moment this material is applied to nothing so if I just select my face mesh, go to materials, click on the add little plus button select my material zero I've created and now my 15 frames will just loop indefinitely like so. And if I want to change the speed of this I can go onto my animation sequence, change the frame so let's say 2, so now it'll play 2 frames per second. I could always go up to something ridiculous like 100 and have it strobing like so. And I can obviously toggle off the loop so it stays on the frame of which has been selected when I toggle it off. Now if I want to add some interaction to this I can go to my uh, advanced options here, click on the little circle next to current frame, 
like so. And let's say I want to toggle through each of those frames one by one every time I tap the screen, which was what we did in the original video. So in the patch editor, I can right click, I can go to interaction, I can go to screen tap and insert patch. And then I just drag from the screen tap and I want to add a counter like before. So this will, every time I tap the screen, it will increase. Uh, it will increase by one. Now, because I've got 15 frames in my sequence, I'm going to change the maximum count to be 15. And then click, uh, link the count to my current frame like so. So now if I enable simulate touch over in my preview panel, I can now, every time I click, it will progress through one frame. So this is good if you wanted to have multiple uh, masks on your character. You could just create various different images to represent different masks and toggle through them with on screen taps. Or we could link this to facial landmarks. So every time a mouth opens, it progresses a frame or etc. Et so once you've got this kind of sequence in there, it's up to you how you want it to be affected. So this has just been a very quick video to update an older video because some people have been questioning why this doesn't work or how do I now do this and this is that video to explain that. I will also post this video into the description of the original video and I hope this helps you. I will try and get uh, through the comments and questions as quick as I can. There is a bit of a backlog at the moment and there are a lot of tutorials and queries I'm trying to troubleshoot at this time. So I please wish you to be patient and I will try and get through them as soon as I can. And I thank you for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button to like and share because that really helps uh, motivate me to try and produce more videos in a more timely manner. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.